What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? My name is Bloodfunger, and ladies and gentlemen, we arrive back at Camp Near Our Lake in Weirding Woods, and we are continuing our adventure on the zombie side of things for our uh, already pretty chaotic uh, set of circumstances as they continue to unfold further and further. And we are currently trying to activate, I keep forgetting the name of it, it's like something boombox. The Divine Boombox, I, I want to say is the full name. So we do have two components already collected. We're still looking for the stickers. So that's another thing that we need to work on. But in that process, we need to go on ahead and complete some bounty hunts. And luckily there are two right in front of us. Today, we're actually gonna be playing as the scientist class, which I'm super duper stoked for. Of course, don't forget, if you do enjoy today's episode, hit that like button. I did go on ahead and customize the scientist a tad, just so he looks a little bit more unique and personalized. And with that in mind, Let's dive into another bounty hunt ch challenge, shall we? So this one is Queen Nigma. Okay. Uh, so how do we... Oh, yikes. My goodness. Getting absolutely crushed right now. Okay. Holy moly. Okay. So apparently this uh Rose Queen. Okay. Ow. Can definitely mess us up clearly. Can I heal from this? Okay, I can. I was really worried about that. I was like, there has to be a way for us to heal as well. No. Uh -oh. Okay. Get ourselves a little bit of distance from the enemy. Okay. My gosh. Yeah, this is no joke. There's one of them. Come on. Come on! Okay, in those moments, she does seem to be invincible. Oh, come on! Why am I doing so little damage? Yeah, that's pretty bizarre to me. Seriously. Not saying that we still cannot win, but... It just seems like we do so little damage to those things in particular. Okay. Did we have like three seconds to spare? Oh, we got the disc from a rose metal unlocked. <laughs> I was about to freak out. Seriously, I was like, are you kidding me? Are we really going to lose with like three seconds to spare? Or like win with uh, the need of just a few more seconds. My gosh. Okay. Whew. That was bananas. Seriously, what a challenge. I am so happy we managed to complete that, though. That was pretty spectacular. So that's one bounty hunt complete. The next one is all the way up here. I'm so happy that scientists can heal himself using the uh, L1 ability. So, like, when you throw down this thing, you can keep healing yourself. That is so useful. If he did not have that ability, I really don't think we would have been able to win that. Uh, because... He doesn't really have anything offensively as far as abilities are concerned. Like, this is just a teleporter. Doesn't do any damage. Uh, this heals your friends. So, it's good, but it's more focused on 
healing your teammates than it is yourself. And uh, the other ability is, of course, just the healing kind of grenade, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. So not the most uh, meaningful set of items. But luckily, he does do quite a good amount of damage with his basic attacks. So we're able to still fare really well in fights. Like even the squash there, as you see, we squash that squash. Okay, we'll probably uh, stop with those punts now. Okay, there's some zombies there that we could heal up. Is there a gnome in here or something? What is making that noise? Okay. Oh, I thought the zombies were here. They're all the way back there. We're not gonna be we're not gonna be going there. We gotta deal with this bounty challenge. You guys ready? Uh oh. I don't even know where these guys all spawned from. They weren't here a second ago. Okay, here we go. The Solar Sisters. Just gonna drop that just so I'm healing. Okay, that's one of them. Definitely deal quite a bit of damage here. And the teleporting really is quite powerful. Okay. Like, look at the damage we're doing there. That's pretty bananas. My goodness. Okay, we cannot take any more damage right now. Okay, so they just seem to keep spawning, right? There seems to be a whole lot of them. Okay. Come on. There we go. I'm so confused. Is there like one main Solar Sister character they were supposed to defeat first? Because. Although we're doing well. Hmm. Sisters go together. I'm so confused. Are we doing this wrong? Now I'm thinking we're doing this wrong. I cannot possibly vanquish them all. Okay, how many do we need to defeat? I'm so confused. Why is their health bar constantly resetting? Okay, there's obviously something I'm doing wrong. Okay. Can this game, like, sometimes at least explain things a little bit? So, I'll activate this again. I don't mind, obviously. Sisters go together. Whatever the heck that means. Oh, is it because it's getting revived every time? Is that what's happening? Yeah. I am genuinely confused. 
It would be nice if the game, like, at least pointed to something that said, like, hey... They're healing back up. And so we vanquish one, we vanquish two. But there's more that just spawn instantly. What the heck is going on, man? Okay, this has got to be just like broken. There's no way that you're supposed to vanquish all three at once, is there? Yeah, this is ridiculous. Okay, so they're able to just re-heal up. Okay. Um, is there any instructions? I just don't understand it. That's all. Sisters go together. Okay. No, that's just scientist information. Like, look, watch the health bar. Am I supposed to get them all literally at once? Really super low. This is a crazy task, seriously. Okay. Yeah. I'm clearly... I think that's what you were supposed to do, is vanquish all of them at once. So I guess... The goal would be to try to get them low. If we could. And get all of them low. But that's the problem. So how are you supposed to do that when they just walk up and heal each other? I know what people are going to say. You're not supposed to use the scientists for this, but... Come on, why is it that only certain characters can win certain challenges? Should not... Should it not be that every character would be able to win? My goodness. I just can't vanquish them quickly enough, I don't think. Wow, if that shot hit, we would have probably won. And they're back to 5 billion health. Wow, I literally had it. Okay, I just gotta get them low. Get them all down to like one shot. Or try. My gosh. This is quite frankly... the most challenging thing we have had to do in this game so far.
The reload time is just absurd. Okay. Yeah, this is terrible as the scientist. Okay, I'll go try the other bounty hunt for now. My gosh. It's just so frustrating, man. Okay, let's go try the other one. I still don't know what the other one's all about. Because, you know, this game doesn't explain anything. It just kind of goes like, yeah, I'll figure it out. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer, honestly. I feel like it'd be nice if sometimes it would tell you, like, what you're, like, trying to avoid. Because, like, in this next one, uh, we've tried this next bounty hunt challenge before. And the main issue with this one is that I just don't know why I kept losing. Like, we would lose, but we didn't lose all our health or anything like that. But we would still lose. So I'm not really sure why we lost. I'm guessing that we're not allowed to get squashed by the squash. But then a few times we did lose on the last episode where the squash didn't even touch us. So I, I don't know why we lost, if that makes any sense. Why am I doing like no damage? You see what I mean? We just lost again. Why? The squash was nowhere close to me. <sighs> I'm so confused. Gonna need to heal. Whoops, sorry if you guys hear my dog barking. My apologies about that. Okay, let me just heal up a little bit at least. Okay, still 10 health. Okay, so I think we lose here as well, right? Oh, we don't lose. Interesting. So you are allowed to get vanquished, oddly enough. Hitting me with these challenges. Oh my goodness. How are they so difficult? Like, I'm not even joking. This is insane. This is crazy. These are truly, truly, truly very, 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 very challenging. Okay, we cannot afford to get hit. Nearly at all. Okay, well, this time, I don't even know how we died, because we had a lot of health. So I'm not sure what messed us up there. Okay. It's so annoying that there's other plants that are not even a part of this challenge that are constantly firing at us. Did I do it? Yes, we did it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, what a challenge. Oh my goodness, that was insane. I am so happy we managed to get that uh, bounty hunt completed as well. So now literally all we have left is the solar sister one. Oh my gosh. Guys, we did it. Two bounty hunty 
I can't even talk. Two bounty hunting challenges completed in one episode. My goodness. And then we this thing was the thing that was firing at us the whole time. While we're trying to fight, this acorn trying to mess us up, man. Okay. I cannot believe it. Seriously, I, I genuinely cannot believe that we managed to get that done. Whew. That was a challenge and a half. Okay. So I think we're going to have to save the third bounty challenge for next time. Just because I don't think we'll be able to actually get it done with this character. Can we teleport up? I don't think we can. How would we jump up there? We would need to have the use of the uh, soldier character, right? Unless if... Oh, okay. There you go. You can do a little bit of platforming. Some uh, problem solving. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe we managed to do that task. That was bananas. Now, there is some battle chests that we can tackle. So let's actually tackle the next battle chest, which is the Gnome Bomb Challenge. Don't burn yourself on the torch woods while trying to place a Gnome Bomb. Vanquish three torch wood characters as the bonus challenge. Bring it on! Let's do this! So two bounty hunting cha- Can I speak? Why do I keep saying hunty? Hunting! Two bounty hunting challenges completed. And then, now we're also going to get a battle chest completed. And hopefully uh, we will succeed at accomplishing this. Okay, so it should spawn right here, no? Dude, the one really cool aspect of the... Um, of this character class is that we do move around very, very quick. Thanks to the teleporter. Okay, how do I get up there? Oh, there we go. Ask and you shall receive. The answer has been provided. No, you don't. You defeated that guy. Wait, did I defeat him or no? Oh, come on. That was pretty frustrating. There we go. Come on. Okay, go, Deadbeard. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Go, Deadbeard. It's your birthday. Deadbeard, please go over here. Good stuff, good stuff. Ha-ha! Okay, we have a bunch of Torchwoods incoming. And we have been assigned one of the challenges. Okay, let me just get in cover a little bit. Okay. So... We got one. Whew. That was a Giga Torchwood? I wonder what makes it that, like, powered up form. Trying to heal. I guess we should go support our teammate here. The 80s action hero. Okay, so he's gonna get the plants. Yeah, maybe it's when uh, a regular Torchwood like combines uh, with multiple acorns. Maybe that's what makes it go into like its giga form. Um, okay. Holy moly, that thing is no joke. Oh, there's so many of them! Okay. One. Wow, that messed us up. They do so much damage. Okay. As far as the objective is concerned, they do terrible, though. I 
don't seem to have very good awareness of... I don't even know... Oh, it's the acorn that's dealing damage to us. Wait, what? They have fire effects as well? So they have elemental damage? Uh, would be nice. There we go. Uh, it would be nice if my teammates were here. Also. Because they were just like, I'm out and about. Like, they could not care less. There's nothing I can do to st stop this guy, I don't think. Well, that's extremely lame. Wow, where are my teammates? What are they doing? If there's four characters here that are enemy teammates, where the heck are my teammates at? Isn't it 6v6? Okay, so it's 8v8. If half their team is here, where's my team? Good googly moogly, these guys are terrible right now. Okay, we gotta focus up, Buttercup. We got to get the capture here. Okay. Okay, so that's one acorn defeated. Okay. Well, I can't really do anything about that. I sort of have to wait for my team, don't I? Wow. Yeah, I don't know what my team is up to. There's literally three Torchwood characters all around there. And one acorn, and my team is nowhere to be found. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. We got max level. Oh, where did it go? I was about to pick it up there. Come on, no bomb. Oh, it's respawning. Okay. I guess it resets after a little while. That's interesting. Good to know. Okay, come on, please. Be able to heal up. Basically, need full HP before we go for it. Do, 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 do. Please, please, no, no, no. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, jumping seems to make you move a little bit quicker. We did it. We got the equip. Now it's defense time. What the heck just hit us? Okay, whatever that was, we just got hit by a, a tree. In this case, it's literally. There we went. We won! Sweet! Oh my gosh. Okay. So the thing I was really, really, really flustered with there, as you saw at the end, it's the fact that it seems like sometimes the AI, at least on this, I don't know. I feel like in my experience, the AI on your like teammate team, like your friendly team, always seem to kind of do a pretty terrible job uh, for the most part. Like sometimes they're decent, but for the most part, they're kind of terrible. Um, so it would be nice if they were a little bit more consistent. Uh, but outside of that, Still obviously happy that we managed to get the victory and get the bonus objective. So all we have left are the outnumbered Team Vanquish Challenge, the Suburbanating Chompers Suburbanation Challenge, and then the Champions of the Forest Team Vanquish Challenge. So those are all of the total tasks that we still need to complete. So with that all in mind, ladies and gents, there you guys have it. And that concludes today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. We're continuing our adventure through the zombie side of things and as you can see we're at 32 percent completion that is pretty good we're doing quite well we already have 24 out of 50 uh chests unlocked so that's definitely pretty exciting uh we also have i think three or four of the gold gnomes yeah we have three of the 24 gold gnomes we're still looking for the um diamond gnomes obviously a bunch of metals uh i don't know what those 
What is that Z thing there with the activation there? I'm not really sure what that's... Oh, maybe that's the puzzle that we found before. It could be that, actually. Uh, but regardless, the point being is that we're working on plenty of the other tasks that are available for our zombie characters, and we will continue to do so until we get to celebrate 100% uh, completion. So that should be pretty exciting, of course. Uh, with that all in mind, don't forget, guys, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed today's episode. I really do appreciate you guys a ton for tuning in. And obviously, I hope to catch you guys here on the next one. Have an absolutely fantastic day. And before we wrap it up, I guess we got a little bit of a no challenge. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here. Because clearly, this is just not meant to be today. Wow, this guy is really good against these dead root uh, characters. Holy moly. He just messes them up. Check this out. It's probably because of all that splash damage that the character does. So, that's pretty spectacular, seriously. There we go. You see that? I mean, that was pretty easy. All things considered, we did quite well. So, uh, like I've been saying, all the different characters have their positives and negatives. And in this case, it seems like the scientist is incredible at battling... Um, the um what were those guys called uh dread roots right so thank you guys so very much for watching hopefully i'll catch you guys here on the next one peace out see you later alligators bye bye everyone